resume. All right. Uh, good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, thank you for, for tuning in to another Q&A as a part of our Blues From Home program. Uh, we hope you're enjoying the sessions that we're currently running. Um, they've been terrific and thank you to all the coaches and all the people that have volunteered their time. Really excited about Chris Murray running a referee and online referee course last night. I know, I know our coaching coordinators are working hard um, putting stuff together for our coaches and, and then all of our senior players um, you know, they're giving up their time to still work with our juniors, even even though, you know, there's no season at the moment, but we are building towards a return to play, hopefully, fingers crossed, pretty soon. And speaking of senior players giving up their time, um, I'm joined this morning by Daniel Trist. Um, Dan, thanks very much for jumping on with me and having a quick chat this morning. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for having me on, mate. It's, uh, it's good to be here. You're a good man. We, uh, you know, we... we we have you on tomorrow running a running a, a train with me session with our juniors, which we're excited about. And we just want to sort of catch up with you before that. Um, you know, obviously the NBL one season was cancelled. So unfortunately we didn't get to see you down in Frankston as, as regular, regularly as we would have liked. Um, we didn't get to see you on court. I think you were really gearing up for a, a pretty big season. Um, you're in terrific shape. What, um, what is life, I guess, in the last, pretty much six months now, isn't it, that, that we've been in, uh, in and out of lockdown. What does it look like for you and how have you maintained, uh, you know, your, your level of, um, I guess, conditioning and some, you know, sanity in terms of, of staying ready for the NBL season now? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely been a challenge. Pretty, I think everyone's throwing around the term um, unprecedented times and things like that. And I think it's, it's a bit, a bit old at this point, but, um, but yeah, look, I think it's a, it's about adaptability, um, and versatility. Like I think kind of making the most of what you have, you know, I think a lot of people have, um, some form of outdoor space, um, if you're lucky or, you know, a living room or, or something. And I think it's making the most of those spaces. Um, I think the tricky thing is, you know, kind of hobbling together the gear or the basketballs or, or all that stuff, you know, before everything kind of shut down. I was lucky, um, you know, my wife and I uh, managed to kind of get our hands on some some workout gear and, and obviously I've got a few basketballs lying around and stuff like that. So it's sort of been a matter of constantly, um, you know, working with that stuff and then forming and adapting a program to fit goals. I think early on in lockdown, when it didn't look like it was going to be, um, we didn't know how long it was going to be, but it didn't look like it was going to be super long. Um, I think it was, you know, more short term goal oriented, um, you know, keeping, keeping in shape and, and keeping certain muscle groups firing, ready to get it back on the court in a couple of months. Whereas now, you know, we're what, six months into this thing and it's been, um, you know, more, more a matter of, of focusing on the long term, especially for me with the NBL season coming up and, and making sure that, you know, joint health, um, you know, muscle conditioning, uh, cardiovascular conditioning, things like that have been kind of maintained. Um, and obviously, you know, I've been talking to our strength conditioning coach um, in New Zealand where I'm going to play next year. And, um, and also, you know, a couple of physio mates of mine. And, and I think, you know, with the return to basketball after such a long time off, a lot of athletes are going to find um, a bit of a challenge with their lower bodies, um, you know, in terms of, you know, hamstrings, glutes, ankles, hips, calves, all that stuff. So kind of making sure that, you know, I've stayed flexible and, um, and pliable in those areas, I think is, is going to be key to a successful return to the court. Terrific, mate. Yeah, and you, you mentioned it just there, the, uh, you know, the fact that you'd signed with New Zealand. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's... Uh, it's a terrific opportunity for you. It's, you know, it's obviously uh, unfortunate for us in a way, you know, being selfish in terms of Southeast Melbourne Phoenix. We, we, we work closely with them and, and we love having you um, there with them. And, um, but that's okay. You know, these things happen and, and um, another opportunity presents itself in, in your signing with, uh, with New Zealand. So tell us a little bit about that. I guess that process and, and what, um, what your outlook is there, any, you know, any sort of goals you've got, any discussions you've had with coaching staff, things like that. What's, um, what's that looking like for you over there in New Zealand? Yeah, look, I was, um, was obviously communicating with 
um, you know, a few NBL teams when free agency opened up, obviously to kind of figure out where my next situation would be, you know, would it be back with, with Phoenix, um, you know, which is a club that I love being a part of. And, you know, obviously it's a, um, it's a pretty special club considering I've, you know, played for Frankston and, um, you know, big part of the Southeast Melbourne community. And I, you know, always will be um, because I live out here, but I think, um, you know, when I got the phone call from the coaching staff in New Zealand and obviously speaking with my agent and things, it was just kind of, um, you know, seeing where I fit in in that, t in that team and the role they wanted me for was, it was a bit too attractive to pass up. Um, you know, I think it's a bit more of an expanded role um, than what my role was with Southeast last year. Uh, a bit more of an opportunity um, to maybe get out there and, and, and play some minutes and, and, and things like that. And um, yeah, you know, when you, when you have a coach call you and kind of lay down in front of you what specifically they, they want from you and what they envision you doing, and it's, it, it matches closely with what you see yourself as, then I think that's going to be um, a place where you find success. So I'm pretty excited to get out there. Um, it's obviously a tricky situation at the moment with the restrictions in Melbourne, um, you know, the travel, the lack of a travel bubble right now. Um, and also, you know, the recent lockdowns in Auckland where the breakers are based out of, but honestly, it's, it's just an ongoing discussion. And, and at this point I'm heading out there, you know, in October um, for a December 3rd start of the season, obviously. Um, if that changes, then, you know, that could be, be um, something that changes on my end too when I head out there. But at this stage, that's what's happening. And yeah, pretty keen to get out there obviously been been working you know working my butt off to uh to get in the best shape possible and head out there you know ready to go uh, that's great mate look we were um <clears throat> we were really excited for you when we heard about it um you know i spoke to you pretty pretty soon thereafter after your signing and everything and yeah it sounds like it's going to be a great opportunity and um you know i know the people of frankston and 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 the people at the club and the members as much as we uh we certainly support southeast melbourne phoenix there'll be there'll be a particular uh, uh big fella player for new zealand that we'll be uh you know supporting as well so um look thanks very much for giving up your time this morning and also you know tomorrow evening um for our juniors that are watching this, um, you know, it's going to be a terrific session. Dan's, uh, you know, he's obviously a big man as well, but but a highly skilled big man and one that uh, possesses the skills to, you know, a guard-like skill set as a big man. So we're going to be, you know, doing some ball handling, some footwork stuff, which is Dan's specialty and um, getting a real good sweat up and, um, and just having an opportunity to sort of chat with the big man and, uh, and engage with, with him. So uh, thanks very much for doing that, Dan. It's really important for our juniors and, and for our club as a whole. So we really appreciate it. No, no problem at all. Frankston is home. So anything, um, any new part of the community there. Thanks, mate. I appreciate you giving up your time and um, we'll talk again soon. See you tomorrow night. See you, mate.